I remember when I was much younger, I was trying to sing, because I'm also a singer, and um, there was this young artist that's just been released by a big name producer, and um, along the line, I liked the music, I liked everything about what she did, and so I decided to look for the producer. And I walked up to the producer, and I was told I couldn't see him, and they told me I should come early in the morning at EMI. It was called EMI Music then. It was at Oregon. That's where you have Daystar now, Daystar Church. And so um, I went in very early in the morning from Ikorodu, where I used to live with my parents then. Walked up to him. In the morning, he was awed by his presence, very awed by his presence. And I said, good morning, sir. I like what you did for Ivan Maha. I would like you to help me um, become a singer as well. And he looked at me and said, you just finished secondary school? I said, yes. So what makes you think singing is for the likes of you? Why don't you go get a job as a clerk or something? And I, I, I was so demoralized. I was so, so demoralized. I cried all the way home. I was so angry. I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to talk to anybody and all that. And uh, well, years later, I became... I had an album called Dreams released on the Premier Music label who had just metamorphosed from being Polygram Records then and became Premier Music. And then I had become a big name and become, um, well, so to speak, in the parlance, I'd become a star, I'd become a star actor. I'd done Silent Night. And I was very, very big at that time. And guess what? I went to the housewarming ceremony of one of my big friends then. He had asked me to come. I went there with my friends, of retinue of friends. And we got there and uh, as I was entering the place, I just heard this music blaring and somebody called it by name and praised singing my name and I, I stopped in shock and I looked, it was a person who had many years ago told me what makes you think singing is for the likes of you. And I looked up to God and said, God, you're the greatest humorist. But see, I never let that get to me. I never ever let that get to me. I or become arrogant or become complacent or, or whatever it is, or become pig-headed. But I, I just decided there and then that what I will always do for young talent is to encourage them, whatever it is you want to do, and you believe in yourself, 1,000%, you believe in yourself, I'll be there to back you up, I'll be there to help you fight and push your cause.